Hey everyone, my name is Sarah and this is The Wolf Among Us. Welcome. So this is a Telltale game and I have fallen in love with Telltale games. If you watch my Walking Dead playthrough, I absolutely love it. I love it. So I thought I'd branch out and check out some of their other stuff. And this has been recommended to me along with some of their other games. And uh, I thought I'd check this one out. I haven't read up on it. I know nothing about this game, uh, but it seems intriguing. There's some sort of werewolf, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be playing the werewolf. I don't know. And I don't know if this was released episodically or not, like uh, The Walking Dead. So I'm wondering if I'm going to fall back into my habit of ending the recording five minutes before the episode is done. We will see. Hey, that's exciting. That's the adventure that we're on. <laughs> can't wait. Can't wait. So, uh, yeah, really, I know nothing about this. I only looked up to find out what the gameplay hours are. That's what I usually do when I, before I pick up a game. Uh, so it's not terribly long. I think it's probably around the same length as like a Walking Dead game. So um, I don't know what else to say. Let's jump in. Let's shoot the shot of this game. Let's go. Connecting. Great. Let's do that. So have you guys played this game? I, I, I think this is a choice based game, right? Like, I think that's what the theme of like Telltale games is, right? That it's all, ooh, visit the Wolf Among Us community. Ooh, does that still exist, that community? <laughs> okay, uh, let's go to settings and see if we can get like subtitles on and everything. Uh, audio, ooh, okay. So I don't know when this was released. Was this released before Walking Dead or after? I don't know. Uh, I think the sound is okay. Let's go with that with the subtitles. Gameplay? Let's have a quick look. See what we've got here. Selectables. Hmm. Okay. Now we'll leave that. We'll leave that on. Cool. Okay, I'm really excited to jump in. I am really excited. I don't know what this is about. Um, let's take a random guess. We're playing a werewolf. Uh, I feel like there's got to be... There's got to be some sort of element like... Like there's a police officer investigating us or a detective or something. Um... Or maybe we are one? I don't know, I feel like there's got to be that kind of element involved where there's some sort of detective following us. Hmm. That's all I've got, that's all I've got. I haven't, I swear, I haven't read up on this game at all. Uh, but that's the vibe I'm getting. That's my thoughts. That's it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh! Lovely. I'm s is that woman... She's smoking and doing her makeup at the same time? Or... Oh, she's covering a bruise. Oh my god, alright. This looks like it's going to be dark. This looks like it's going to be dark. And what is that symbol on the axe? That reminds me of, um... Uh, Charmed, if any of you watched that. <laughs> yeah, I watched. I watched Charmed. Uh, you know, just the good Charmed. The good Charmed. Before it went bad. <laughs> Anyway, let's jump in. Let's go. Let's go in the first chapter. Oh my god. Oh yes, okay. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored to how you play. Okay, fantastic. I really like that. I really like that. About Tao Tao. Oh, once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of magic spell called Glamour, they protect their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. Sheriff. Are we a sheriff? Today again, if you missed it, uh, I assume we're playing him. In June, uh, one of three like now, the werewolf. The humidity looks low, but remember, the hotter the air is, the more wolf, moisture whatever. in the hole. So, 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 Ooh, with 31% humidity. Ooh, what is this art humidity. style? And it is muggy out there. The thick black lines. I love it. Wow, I 
I really like the use of colour. Okay, so uh, someone did warn me that I need thick skin to play this. Um, so from that I'm gathering it might get quite dark. That's what I'm guessing. Or is it like really offensive? I don't know. Is it a lot of swearing? Whoa, your pu- Oh, okay. Your eyes came back. It's alright. They disappeared for a second there. Tenement building? Sometime after midnight. Is that Toad's 251? Oh! Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Bigby! Listen, mate. I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. Oh, no I'm done. No enough need to excuses. kick up a fuss. I feel like we're a enough excuses, Toad. I've heard enough of your excuses, Toad. This is unacceptable. Mm. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's the as farm. simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. Mm. You know what I mean? Go see a witch. <laughs> Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I don't know how much. We seem like a... Not my problem. It's not my problem. You're the one risking your entire family getting shipped off. It's completely irresponsible, Toad. Big B, please. Mr. Toad will remember blow, that. Mate. All this will be taken care of as soon as the witches are available to cast the spell. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. This was Fuck not what I was hell. expecting. See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before mm. he completely tears up the place. What do you want me to do? What exactly do you want me to do? I want you to throw the fucking woodsman out of here, drunk shit. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. Oh. This is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. Hmm. Why is he so pissed? Let's so go what that. set him off? Who knows why it was this time? Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. When did he start drinking? Not sure he ever stopped. Hmm. Fuck you. I didn't know anyone else was up there. Ooh. We seem like a tough shit. Oh, new book of fables and the unlocked. Shit. Tell me any spin. Is that one. about like Mr. Toad? Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Oh. Then get that fuck back wolf. inside. This is not what I was expecting, guys. This is not what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting. I mean, I told you what my initial thoughts were. Some sort of cop or something, You're but also a werewolf. Right oh shit, are we hey, gonna run out of time? If, uh, I don't know if we're gonna run out of time. Like immediate, like I would, I would usually immediately go to, go to. <laughs> Uh, help them or whatever, but uh, there are clues around. It's a game. Let's go. Matchbook. We seem like a, yeah, we, we don't give a shit sort of thing, you know? Oh, so we can kick it down or we can, can we knock politely? Oh, phone. We want to use it, or we want to hang it up. Let's go. Hmm. Okay. So we do care about some things. We care about tidiness. Okay. Shall we knock or kick it down? Uh. I don't know if this guy gives a shit. This. I'm getting the impression this guy just actually doesn't give a shit, and I want to play to the character. I really do. So I. I feel like he would. He would just knock. He's like, whatever. 
Hi. <laughs> Ooh. God damn it. What is that music? No way. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. Oh, you we got do something care. on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh, my God. I'll fucking kill you. You. Uh, fuck. what's going on here? All right, what's going on? Oh, oh, that was lovely. Can we just change the What are you gonna wolf? fucking do, huh? Or do we need get the glamour to wear fuck off? Out of the way before you get the axe again. Uh, it's your last warning. Woody, this is your last warning. Woody. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down. He's going to remember that. Fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. I'm having so much trouble comprehending what's going on, guys. I'm having so much trouble. Just what is that? R2? Oh, let's grab the couch. Oh, we're gonna throw him at the couch. Oh, dude, that was mean. At least it's a fucking challenge. Oh no, are the prompts gonna get worse? Are the prompts gonna get worse? Where is it? Did we get it? We got it? We got it? Oh, did I? I didn't see that there. Was that L2 or R2? Back off, asshole. I'm assuming it's always L2. I don't know. Oh shit, which which joystick was that? I don't know. I just pushed both of them down because I was confused. I pushed both of them down. Over here? Whatever. Oh, are we gonna smash him? Smash him. And grab the bottle, grab the bottle, grab the bottle. I don't know if we can fail this. I think this is like the tutorial. Okay, I think it's left trigger to do that. Down. And okay. Ow. Ow. Oh, L2 or R2. I see. Lovely jubbly. Oh no! Oh, that was not hurt. Oh, ow. Oh, there's the axe. Hello. Can we fail this? Tap, 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 tap. Uh. Oh. Oh my god. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. You hear uh, me? Say that word again. What say does that, that mean? word one more time. Ooh. What? Bitch? Oh. What did I say? <gasps> oh fucking shit! You bogged my jaw, you bastard! And still you talk. Fuck you. So, uh, shit. I'm trying to comprehend things. What, what happened? What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off. Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. Mm. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you alright? Are you alright? I'm hunky dory. Thanks for asking. Hunky dory? Uh, what's your name? I don't want to ask why what's is he hitting name? you. Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Don't make Placing the blame on her. It has to be. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? No, don't ask that. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved the little red riding hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones. And threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Oh, hey. Hey, what did <laughs> I say about that word? Come on. 
Okay. Okay. Um, okay. I'm trying to comprehend what the fuck's going on. Alright, so they're all fairy tale creatures and they use glamour to disguise themselves. I don't know. Oh, is that Mr. Toad's car? Hey, Toad. My car. Oh, no. Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. I lost Take Kitty. Your Pixel. Make yourself comfortable. Can I get you anything? How's your insurance, Hello, I reckon? So, uh, how good is your insurance? <laughs> I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be made. <laughs> when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Then don't ask for help. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Oh, Dark Future 1996. Oh, tap, tap, tap. <laughs> Dark Future in 1996. Let me think. What happened in 1996? Wow, this is this is difficult. This is difficult. This is so difficult. This is so difficult. Are we meant to lose? Are we meant to lose? This is so hard. I think we're meant to lose here, guys. No, no. Oh my god, that was so hard. That was so difficult. Let me think, Spice Girls? It was pretty dark here. Was that when the Spice Girls came out? I don't know. Pixel? Oh, we gotta find Pixel, guys. Hmm. Uh, uh, what are you doing? She's probably looking for the money. What are you doing? I'm just getting what he owes me. Yeah, why did we even ask that? We're stupid. I mean... Your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can Aren't we? avoid it. Okay, so uh, there are humans as well as fairy tale creatures. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more for me. He'll be. Fine. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, uh, a bad day. oh, I, <laughs> I was too late. I was I too late. It's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Suppose it is. What was the name of that film? Mongoose? Please tell me it was Mongoose. <laughs> Dark Future of 1996. <clears throat> is this what I need to pick skin for? It does say mongoose. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Just come on. Mm, uh, uh, give her the matchbook. I don't care. Whatever. Here. Unless we need it for something. Thanks. Well, it's too late now. Arms are going right through the handbag. These lips are sealed. Sorry. Okay. That's fine. Hey, you like my ribbon? Yeah, it's cute. Uh, stop changing the subject. I think he would stop say that. Stop changing the subject. Did they say? Don't I answer think. my questions. I can't <laughs> help you. I'm Should answering them the best that I can. But yeah, it's cute. <laughs> I feel like we've met before. Ooh, have we? We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Oh, okay. He's moved on. Totally. Oh my god. <laughs> totally. Stop. Dragon Wing is on the name of the band. Out of it than it already is. 
this is about Fable Town, is it? Okay. It's not just about you. I can't have him running around the city in the state he's in. Good. The max in his head. I was just starting to worry. It was all about me. Are we gonna meet Pixel? Please tell me if we mean. will. Pixel looks amazingly cute. How much was it he owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Hmm. Give us some money. Will she be insulted? Let's see. I've got uh, it's twenty. 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You, chose you got to get me the money. out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I am? You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. He looked like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these mm -hmm. look pretty bad. Tell me what you really think. Wow. Tell me what you really think. I need to tell you something. What? Your name? What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Oh, are we bad? I feel like I feel like we are. I feel like we're a badass. I'll we don't care. Uh, but we seem to really care about how women are treated. Uh, or at least uh, we care how she is treated. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, so different from what I was expecting. Like, uh, I didn't come up, come into this with many expectations, but I figured this guy is like some sort of werewolf and there's like a detective investigating him or something. That's like as much as I could figure out. Like, well, as much as I could uh, think. As much as I could, yeah. Oh, it's frozen. Oh, it's okay. So was this based off a comic or anything? I suppose it'll say in the uh, in the credits. We'll see. set that that movie poster dark future 1996 so could this be set early 90s or 80s maybe i mean it's a, it's a film poster the woodland luxury apartments fable town can we walk back this way how far can we go oh well we have to remember this Glass slipper shoes. Yeah, I guess shoes by Cinderella would have been too obvious. Wait, wait, what was that in the background? What was that in the background? Could we look across the street? Um, I only saw it for a split second. Did it say I am the Eggman? Is that what it said on the sign back there? Oh, I'm gonna have to go over that. Why would it say that though? Some sort of store that only sells eggs? Does that make sense? Is there a fast walk? There is. Oh, we can't go any further? Oh, I'm gonna have to remember this. Let's have a look. Luxury apartments. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. Oh, I'm seeing things in the background and I'm trying to figure out what they are. Can we have a look? Oh, damn it. T uh, change the camera angle. I want to see all the signs back there. Oh, damn it! Something about Robin Hood, maybe? 
Ah! I want to say it! Stay off the grass. Why can we look at it again? So can sometimes be a disciplinarian. Hmm. Can we walk on it? Because no one tells Sheriff Big B. Was that it? <laughs> no one tells Sheriff Big B what to do. All right, let's walk. Oh crap! No, no, no! We wanted to walk to the side. The sign says, "Stay off the grass." What are you doing there? Yes, yeah, stay off the grass. <laughs> There's no walking on the grass. No white's orders. She made a sign and everything. Yeah, can't you read? Just because I was contemplating it. I'll be sure to send her an apology. Beauty. Beauty. Hello, Big B. Oh my god, look at those shoes. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation. I swear. Why did you hide? Why'd you hide one? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. Look at those earrings. This is so oh, late 80s, yeah. early 90s. Damn it. I'm late. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Uh, he worries too much as it is, and... It would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. Promise me. Okay, promise. You promise. I was tempted to say I'm staying out of it, but Thank you, Big B. Yeah, I'll I explain I... it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Okay. Um I'm really trying to Thank play to you character. For trusting me. Really, I I appreciate it. Bigby. Okay, we gotta make sure we keep that promise. We gotta make sure we keep it. As soon as we see Beast, we're gonna blow it, aren't we? And uh, she'll be very upset. Yes, I, I feel like he just, he doesn't give a shit, but he does care about women. Like, uh, how they're treated. Uh, should be, oh, hello there. Did you see that? He was flashing. suit of armor and what was this let's have a look at that got any mail been a while since I got any mail oh that's sad let's have a look seventh day in a row oh not even a bill all right shall we have a look hmm shall we talk Hey, you wink. Grimble. Hmm. Probably for the best. You can look again. It's weird sometimes we can look at things only once and other times we can look at it multiple times, but it doesn't add anything. Flycatcher needs to dust this guy. Flycatcher? Ooh, very dusty. Let's hit it again. Are we going to get any kind of achievement for doing this? No. No. Seems like nothing. Nothing this way? What's over here? Directory? Hmm. Beast is on 301. Uh, is there anything back this way? Anything? Oh, a bin! No. Hmm. Okay. So, are we going to our apartment or are we going to visit Beast? Oh, gosh, it's taking so long. Let's go. Okay, we're going back. It's cool. Wait, what is that? Oh crap! I just saw something on the ground and ah, oh, it was probably like the most important clue ever. 
Bigby, hey, wait up. Oh, Have you it's seen beast. my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Why did he need to um, elaborate on that? So, have you? No, we haven't. Nope. Haven't seen her. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. You lied to Beast. Damn it. Something's going on. Why did he have to elaborate? Have you seen my wife? Oh, yeah, you know, Beauty. I know it's for our sake, but I think Big B would know, right? Big B's apartment. Damn. Okay. Right the window. I love this art style so much. Um, really, like, um, sort of impressionist. <sighs> what a night. Okay, let's explore our apartment because we've probably never done that before, right? Right, Big B? You've never seen your own apartment before? Why do I even own this? Huff and puff. What a huff and puff. Oh, what's on the shopping list? I want to see all this stuff. Damn it. Well, go fill it up. No? Oh, it is a lot of effort. It's a lot of effort. There's the tap right there. Gotta walk all the way back. You might spill a bit and oh, it'll get water all over the place. Oh, yeah. Don't even bother. So, is that, wait, it's three in the morning? Is that, is that the time? It's three in the morning? Bluebeard. Blue Never trusted this guy. Hmm. Okay, so how do we access these uh, new book of fables? Um, Okay, it's not the touch pad. Um, okay, Book of Fables. Trophies. We have trophies? Oh, what is this trophy? Welcome to Fable Town. Complete chapter one of episode one. We have already? Oh no, I shouldn't, I shouldn't look. I shouldn't look. I'll, I'll get spoilers just looking at the titles. Like, or well, maybe. Oh, I... Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Trophies. And Book of Fables is probably the characters. Right, okay. Ooh, are we going to meet all of these? Or are some of these, like, secret characters? Who's this? Oh, Bluebeard. Wealthy scoundrel. Bluebeard managed to escape the homelands with his riches intact and continues to be one of the wealthiest fables in New York. The Fable Town government depends on his generous contributions and he often uses his influence for his own benefit. As a former serial killer, he claims his days of decapitating his brides are over, but even if he was able to leave his violent ways in the homelands, that hasn't stopped him from making the occasional trip down Crooked Lane. Okay. Oh, wait, we skipped this. Okay, Glamours, I need more information on this. Glamours are spells that allow the user to change their appearance. They are expensive but can be purchased by non-human fables. In order to pass for human among the Mundies. Okay, so... There are humans? Are there humans in Fable Town? As well? Ah... Uh, okay. <laughs> trying to trying to just take all of this in like crooked lane okay so they're in fable town at the moment are there humans in fable town uh, or is fable town just its own area and there are only like fable characters like fairy tale characters in there um okay cheap glummers can be found in the seedier parts of fable town but they are often unreliable 
I'm prone to sudden failure. Interesting. Uh, I've heard of glamours through like uh, The Witcher. Um, the farm, Fable Town Annex. The farm is home to fables who cannot pass as human. Okay, so he was like threatening Mr. Chode or, or suggesting that Mr. Chode would be sent to the farm if he couldn't find a glamour. Okay, so giants, goblins, animals, etc. It is located in upstate New York, far enough away from the Mundies. Mundies, is this like, like muggles <laughs> to avoid detection? Some of its residents resent their confinement to the farm, despite its size and comforts. To them, the farm is a prison. They would be allowed to leave the farm if they could purchase a glamour, but many don't have the money for something so expensive. Though some, like Colin, Colin, do we meet a Colin? Sneak out into the city anyway. Fable Town. Yes, I'm reading all of these. Fable Town, home of the fables. Fable Town is a community located on Bullfinch Street in Manhattan's Upper West Side to regular people or Mondays. Okay, I think I'm reading these all out of order. <laughs> it appears to be an ordinary New York neighborhood. Okay, but it is really the home of fables from many worlds. And within the business office at the Woodlands lies a massive cavern, a vast library, and hundreds of magical items of immense power. All non-human fables live upstate on the farm, an extension of Fable Town. Okay. Mr. Toad, slumlord. Mr. Toad is the superintendent for a defunct tenement on the edge of Fable Town proper. Because he's a three and a half foot talking amphibian, Toad is required by Fable Town lore to keep his family and himself magically glamoured to appear human. The problem is Toad isn't too concerned with what the lore is and has to be reminded often. Hmm. Oh, no. Beast. Concerned husband. <laughs> Why do you have to write that there, a concerned husband, to make me feel guilty about lying to him? Beast and his wife, Beauty, left everything behind when they escaped the homelands in the Exodus. Without his former wealth, Beast must pick up extra work to make and meet. Okay. He's able to get around Fable Town without a glamour most of the time, but if Beauty gets too angry with him, he becomes... If Beauty gets too angry with him, he becomes more beastly by the minute. So not when he gets angry, but if Beauty gets angry with him? Growing horns and large teeth. Despite the occasional bickering, the two are truly in love and have the longest lasting relationship of anyone in Fable Town. Ooh, so what's going on between them? Okay, Beauty, caring wife. Beauty and her husband Beast once lived in an enchanted castle, but they were forced to flee the homelands in the Exodus, leaving all of their wealth behind. Now they live in, live in a modest studio in Fabletown, New York. Though times are tough, with Beast working multiple jobs to pay the bills, the couple have the longest lasting relationship of all the fables. Huh. Okay. So, they were forced to flee. Uh, I know, um, I've heard people joking about, um, uh, like Beauty and the Beast because it's like set in France that they actually would have been, it, it, that they really would have been like killed during, um, the French Revolution. <laughs> so is that why they had to flee, I wonder? Okay, the woodsman, fallen he hero. Is he fallen hero? Oh, oh, they, do they mean like fallen from grace? in that sense, fallen hero. Not that we felled him like a tree, because uh, he's still alive, right? The woodsman is one of the few men who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Big B in his Black Forest days and lived to tell the tale. In an attempt to save Little Red Riding Hood, he split the great wolf's belly open with his axe, filled him with full of rocks, and threw the beast into a river. To his dis to his dismay, his popularity has faded. Even his name is forgotten. He is only known as the Woodsman. <sighs> okay. Threw the beast into a river. So how did Big B survive that? The renowned Big Bad Wolf. He's known for tormenting pigs and girls in red hoods. But is trying to put those dark days behind him. Big B now acts as Fable Town's sheriff. And remains in his human form, mostly. Mostly. Mm. However, due to his rough past, the citizens of Fable Town are slow to trust him. Big B is determined to show that he's truly changed, but some instincts are just too hard to control. Um, how did he become the sheriff? 
How did he become the sheriff? Like him of all people, I wonder. Hmm. Okay, cool. And seems... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, so these are going to meet many, many more characters. Okay, sorry to just uh, read all of that, but I really wanted to. I want to keep on top of that. I don't want to have to spend an entire episode. What? Pig? Okay. Spend an entire episode reading all of it, but I do want to make sure I read up on all the characters. At least this still works. What do you mean, at least this still works? Does your fridge not work? Is that why you have no ice? Help. Okay. Cool. Ooh, Chinese food. I don't even remember ordering that. Probably <laughs> a bad sign. Hmm. Damn, you know, I could probably give her some Chinese food right now, actually. Uh very suggestible. Um, okay. What is this down here? This looks like one of those, um, like carrier cartons used to like people used to deliver like organs no maybe i don't know how dark does this get how dark does this get can we look at oh this is colin this is colin what did it say about colin again i can't remember let's look at him not again do we have a roommate or did he crash in here uh, let's, let's touch him. Uh, oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? Hmm. Uh, let's say, come on, I'm, I'm tired, tired. Colin. It's been a long day. I don't know the nature of their relationship, so I didn't know whether to go harder or not. Yes, I'm thinking about these things. I want to. I'm trying to play to his character. I really want to. He's a hard ass, but he's trying to make a, a change. But it's not. It's not going to be quick. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be gradual. Got a it's going to be hard. <gasps> well, we have no. Oh, sorry. We got a light. I was going to say we have no matches. We gave them all away. Oh. Oh. Thanks. Couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has hmm. got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. Um, I'm sure there's some the irony fresh in that. The sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? You're putting all of Fable Town at risk. Call him Lectured by the big bad wolf. He must have loved that. That for me? Nope. The house mm -hmm. didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes? It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Oh. Mm, let's take a sip. Nice. I take <laughs> it all back. This is why everyone hates you. Better to be feared. It is better to be off. feared than loved. You know who said that? Yeah, some sad asshole. Uh, Hitler? I don't know. <laughs> Eating alone. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Mm, my job? I was doing my job, believe it or not. 
Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Yes. Sometimes right? I take them to the farm. Mm. We're the sheriff Fuck of all the fables, you. right? Come on, remember that. Was he he's the one who doesn't like the farm? You think that, my job is easy? Is that what we you read? Try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not everyone. Name one. Well, we don't know their name. No, uh, we'll... We won't mention the girl. We'll mention Beauty, maybe? Beauty? Oh, yeah? Yeah. I told her I'd lie for her. Right. Yeah. That's real nice of you. Yeah, it is. I think it is. Life right. is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. Mm -hmm. But I've seen the way you look at Snow, okay? Like, literally. You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe oh, if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window and... I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Are, are they roommates? We'll give him the drink. We'll give, the, we'll give him the drink. He chose to give him a drink. Can he even pick it up? How does he pick that it up? Big B. Or does he just, like, dip his tongue in? Oh, he does, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's probably some sort of irony. I had read a while ago, I don't know if it's still done, uh, in the production of cigarettes, or at least some cigarettes, uh, they'll use like, uh, maybe, <clears throat> I had read this somewhere, I don't know how true it is, uh, pig's blood. Um, hmm. Is it some more Chinese food that we ordered but we forgot about? Hang on, we've forgotten where the door is. It's the first time in our apartment. Oh, invisible wall. Should we answer it? Vote now! <laughs> Why are we fixing up our tie? Big B! Snow? Come with me. Oh, okay. We close Snow. The door? Snow. What? Well, Sorry. What's up? I'm... What is it? Uh, where are we going? Oh, I wasn't. Just I wasn't picking up. We can't. Hi. Hello. Good morning or evening. <laughs> well, yeah. it's morning, right? It was like three a.m. These walls when are paper thin. We hmm. need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Okay, who's the guy with the orange hair? Is it like Prince Harry or something? happened to the security guard or no what 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 what's happened um uh, 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 what 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 is going on in this game Not a Mundy, right? Was she? Who was she? I thought 
I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her. Though. Working girl. What did it say in the top right corner? Did it girl. say something? A working girl. I don't. I mean, I'm a working. Oh. Hmm. The woodsman. He attacked her. I stepped in, and he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he? I don't think anything yet. Just mm. give me a second. It's just. Hmm. Terrible. It took me a second to realize what I was did even you looking. Did you see anyone? So, did you see anyone else? No, no one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays. Maybe, but no, I don't think so. I would remember. Okay. Hmm. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Okay. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Um, so... <sighs> uh, alright, I'm getting confused because... I thought this was a place of residence, but then I saw, like, a door that mentioned, like, Office of the Sheriff or something like that. Is this a place of residence, or is this, like, I, I don't know, like some sort of police station, but also a residence or something? I don't know. And Snow White is, what, a partner? Maybe? Or a detective? Neck? Mouth? Eye? Anything else? All right, let's look at the neck. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do hmm. something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. Hmm. What is... Remove item? Uh, let's look at the eye first, because removing the item might end this. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She mm. was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Hmm. What kind of monster? Interesting question. Um. Hmm. Well, it's placed here as a message to, like, us, uh, Big B. Or like us, the sheriff's office. Uh, hmm. It's a ribbon. Oh, there's a new ring? some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. A moon and like fleur de lis. Hmm. Um. Fleur de lis. I'm sorry. French. It was the beast. So surreal. <sighs> um. What? What do you want to do next? I want to go to bed. <laughs> no, let's you investigate still have more. Some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay. Why don't we cover Good up idea. that? So no one can see. Can we cover? No. Is that if we want to go? So we have a ring. Um, let's have a look see around. Ugh. Okay. Um. Okay. Nothing here. Mm, anything up high? Hmm. Footprints. We can't go on the grass. Is that a pig? What is that there? We can't look at it. Bushes. Let's look at the bushes. Nobody I mean, there. There's something pink there. There's something pink there. What is that? 
I don't know. I thought it was a pig, but maybe not. Can't get this way. Um, I know that our fable thingy was updated. Blood trail. Hmm. Okay. Let's let's touch the blood. Blood. Are we going to lick it? Drops of blood. Are we going to lick it? See, it's been here an hour, maybe. An hour. An hour? So has has she been here an hour? A body? Hmm. Interesting. Oh my God! Come on. There's some loose trash. Is it? Can we look? Can you? Garbage men can even find their way here. They actually come in here. You don't take it to the street. We take our garbage to the street. What? Don't you take take garbage to the street? No sign. Where do you live? Been uh... here long. Or do you mean like? There is a service at this building where they take they take it out or something. I, I I don't know. Like, where do you live in the world where the, the trash people come into the property to grab it? Oh, that is luxury. Maybe these are luxury apartments. That's what it said at the front, right? That is luxury. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Looks like jeans? Hmm. Anything else down here? Uh, I hope this doesn't end the scene. I'm gonna get so cranky because we gotta talk to Snow White. Yep, more blood. Someone mm. might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. They might have. Blood. Still wet. Sharp mm. enough. Interesting. Um, there's nothing. Hmm. All right. Um. Just quickly, I'm going to just read up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, we got another trophy. Chapter two. Jesus Christ, these are short. These are so short. How short is this game? Book of Fables. All right, so Snow White, assistant to the deputy mayor. Oh, Snow White may seem cold, but this stems from her life of mistreatment and abuse back in the homelands. After escaping assault and imprisonment, not to mention an attempt on her life, she married Prince Charming. It wasn't long before Snow discovered that, oh, Charming cheated on her with her estranged sister, Rose Red. Huh. And she divorced him. After the exodus, Snow focused her attention on setting up safe haven for fables in the new world. She now serves as assistant to the deputy mayor of Fable Town. Uh, and Colin? Colin, couch surfer. Okay, so he's not actually a roommate. Okay, Colin is better known as one of the three little pigs. Ah, uh, back in the homelands, they were harassed by the big bad wolf who blew down. Oh, is this the same wolf who's responsible for all of them? Oh, okay. Who blew down Colin's house of straw. After the exodus, Colin and the other fables who couldn't pass for human were sent to live at the farm in upstate New York. Unable to stand such a boring life, Colin constantly makes trips down to Fable Town to bother Bigby. He is always caught and sent back to the farm, but he doesn't let that stop him. Uh, huh. Mundies, non-fables, short for mundane. Ah, Mundy is a catch-all term that fables use to refer to the non-magical inhabitants of their adopted home. Ah, okay. Warding spells placed around the blocks of Fable Town and the farm keep their minds distracted and dull within certain boundaries. However, if anything should pique the curiosity or scrutiny of a large group of Mundies, these magical protection charms would overload and fail. As sheriff of Fable Town, one of Bigby's primary functions is ensuring the Fable Town community maintains a low profile. Aha! Interesting, interesting. Oh man, okay. Well, you, you know what, guys? I'm gonna have to end that. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm 
I'm getting into this. I'm really, um, wow. My curiosity is so peaked. Uh, <laughs> Mondays, Mondays. Okay, I like that. I like that. All right, so we'll have to talk to Snow White about the fabric as well, I guess. I'll show her the fabric. Hmm, who could have done this? So, yeah, I noticed on the ring there's a crescent moon and like fleur de lis, or at least that's what it looked like. Um, I don't know, my immediate thought went to Beast because he's French. That's it. That's it. That is it. Um, so. <laughs> Uh, anyway, yes, I'm gonna have to end it there. I'm really sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Um, it's, it's still early. It's still early, but though we're speeding right through the chapters, apparently. God, we're going through them so quickly. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I want to give a shout out to my lovely patron. Thank you guys so much. Uh, your support is fantastic you guys are phenomenal i love you all so much and if you'd like to become a patron yourself please check out the link in the description below if you like this video please do like and subscribe to your channel it really helps me out it really does make a difference and thank you guys for recommending this game thank you so much uh so i don't know what it is exactly I, uh one of you mentioned that uh, i'll need thick skin for this um so i'm not too sure to what you were referring uh is it because it's quite dark um because there's, there's like murder uh is it offensive as i was wondering is it just like i i, I don't know i don't know what it is exactly i imagine it's going to get worse uh but for now it's relatively tame for me so uh, i don't know but i'm very curious as to why you mentioned that so <laughs> but we'll find out we'll find out okay uh well i guess uh until the next one until the next one, which will be very soon. Oh, I'm excited to see where this goes. I, I have no idea. I have no idea. Like, I can't even guess, really. I came into this thinking, okay, we're a werewolf um, in the big city or something, and, and someone's hunting us down, you know? Like there is a detective or something. But we are a sheriff. What? Okay. <laughs> Anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, please do have an amazing day, slash night, slash whatever, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.